Hayden Bretzky. I'm a four-year Harvard grad, and this is the project I'm working on. And this is Brayden Larson. He has 4.0. <laughs> and we did our presentation on the Zika virus that has become quite an issue lately. So first off, like, what is Zika? Uh, it's a virus that is spread through mosquitoes uh, from person to person, and it is also recently uh, proven that it is also transmitted through sexually transmitted sexually, uh, so by unsafe sex. And some of the more common symptoms for Zika is a rash or a fever, but there's also eyes, uh, eye redness and uh, like fatigue and muscle and joint pain that are becoming more symptoms as recently. But the thing about uh, Zika that's so different than uh, other viruses or diseases is that only one in five actually show these symptoms. Uh, and this makes it so much harder to control because uh, the person next to you could have Zika and you wouldn't even know it and therefore it could be <laughs> spread uh, easily. Recently, the Zika outbreak took place in South, has been taking place in South America and then spreading throughout the world. So um, there are now like 300 confirmed cases in the United States, and I think as of yesterday, the first child was born with microcephaly, which is the biggest issue with Zika, is these birth defects. And uh, the first cases of, micro, er, of Zika were found in 1946 in Uganda in rhesus monkeys, and there have been many small outbreaks throughout the world, but this is the first large scale one that's really it's really been concerning people. But what's really concerning about this is the Olympics are supposed to take place this summer in Brazil and that is one of the main countries where Zika is becoming an issue. So that's why I'm not competing in this year's Olympics. <laughs> Alright, so microcephaly. Uh, microcephaly uh, causes uh, the brain of a baby and the head size of a baby to not be able to grow. Uh, so this is, so then they have birth defects and uh, their, their smartness and intelligence go uh, way down. Uh, and at first there was no way like to prove it, but it was a couple months ago that they actually uh, showed the positive correlation between uh, microcephaly and the Zika virus. So if you're going to Guatemala or somewhere this summer, make sure you listen to it. So there's many easy ways to prevent uh, getting Zika. It's, and it's just simple as just wearing long sleeves or just putting on like bug spray. Just simple things that we do like in our area to stop mosquito bites. But there's also a lot of things like a lot of times if you just have water sitting out, that's an easy breeding ground for mosquitoes. And um, that's what they reproduce and have once they reproduce, the more mosquitoes can attract the Zika virus and then other people, so that's also an issue. Alright, so this figure above is the structure of the Zika virus. Uh, this is also very recent. Uh, those red parts are the receptors uh, on the structure, and so a mosquito, per se, comes and infects your epidermal cells, which then, it likes the dendrites, dendritic cells, uh, which then moves into your blood cells, and uh, with all these cells, it is replicating in the cytoplasm, and then, and then it can, then it slowly moves into the nucleus of the cell, and then it uh, interrupts the replication process, causing errors in the DNA and in the translation, so then you end up with birth defects and other issues because of the, these errors in the transcription and translation. That's the